so the Sonic the Hedgehog trailer was finally released and all of us old school gaming geeks have been waiting for it for what seems like ages. But we gaming geeks, we are a proud people. So when this trailer dropped, Oh, the backlash, the backlash and the memes and people were freaking out about how terrible Sonic the Hedgehog looked. And because of that, it was just announced that the studio is going back to the drawing board and completely redesigning Sonic the Hedgehog. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how that is a complete and utter waste of time. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, I try to take the mess and turn it into a message. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, so what are my qualifications to talk about this movie in Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, let's talk about my gaming history. I am a 33 year old man. I still game like crazy and it makes me feel good because now I'm a PC gamer more than a console gamer. And I can still like, I can still keep up with them young folks. But anyways, my first system was an NES. My next system was a Sega, which I had for a long time until I got a PlayStation. And I wasn't one of those fancy kids who got both a Sega and an SNES. I just had the Sega. So Sonic was my dude. No, more specifically, Knuckles was my dude. I love me some Knuckles, but I grew up on Sonic the Hedgehog, loved it. Do you guys remember that Sonic game where it had like the cartridge where you can like open up the top and then put in a different Sonic game? Does anybody remember that? If you do, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, like I, I grew up on Sonic the Hedgehog and then when these movie posters started coming out and stuff and you like saw his legs and he's sitting on top of what it looked like the Golden Gate Bridge, I'm like, oh no. Oh, no, 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 right? And we're gonna talk a little bit more about this in a minute, but I wanna touch on a few things. I'm gonna talk about where the studio screwed up, my opinions and views on that, but also what we need to understand as people too, all right? But anyways, one of the first things that just comes to mind, that just comes to mind, like, do you ever watch like TV shows or movies and they have those things? called focus groups, right? Like focus groups are a real thing. If you're not familiar with focus groups are, they call in people, they call in a certain demographic of people that they plan on marketing something to, right? And basically they bring in this focus group and they show them different stuff. Maybe it's a product or whatever it is, or in this case, it would be a movie. So like, I don't get why studios aren't getting focus groups. Like, it is insane. It is. Like, I, I felt the need to make a video on this because this this movie comes out, what, like in the summer? And they're like, oh, we're just gonna redesign Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, it blows my mind that they didn't try to get some input or or did nobody working on this project like play Sonic or any, like, I, I just don't get it. So like, where were the focus groups when it comes to this movie? The next thing I wanna talk about is, it just seems like some of these studios are so out of touch with where we're at as a society. Like, some of my favorite YouTubers, like Drew Gooden's a great example, like when he did um, his review of like the new Kim Possible coming out and just completely like, just made fun of it and how ridiculous it looked. I didn't even watch Kim Possible, but I knew that live action one looked ridiculous, right? But like, this constantly happens on the internet. When people try to remake things and bring them back, they just get trashed, they get Utterly trash. There's been a few good remakes um, that I've actually enjoyed, but here's the thing. Like most recently, most recently, in the last six months or so, when it was first released, the image of Will Smith as the genie in Aladdin, people lost it. People lost it. So I'm just trying to understand how you could work in the like Hollywood movie industry, the remake industry, and not have seen, because this happens all the time, and not have seen the public backlash and outrage about Will Smith, how he looked as the genie in the new Aladdin, and said, you know what? We're working on this Sonic the Hedgehog movie. Maybe we need to time out for a second to make sure that this doesn't happen to us. And the other thing that they didn't think about is that that the Disney fanboys and girls, they're not nearly as brutal as the gaming fanboys and girls, all right? And that is one of the reasons why I think the Sonic one just like, 
Woo, it blew up. It became such a thing. And yeah, as soon as the, the trailer was released, oh my God, like every, just about every YouTuber and influencer I follow, like, uh, like Elvis the Alien, I think Leon Lush, just so many people were just making fun of Sonic and posting uh, memes of him. Justin Wang was doing it. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, that's fair, right? But here's, here's what I wanna talk about, okay? Because me and you, chances are me and you, we're, we're not Hollywood producers, we're not making movies or anything, but me and you, like, here's the thing, like, we're not gonna be happy with anything, all right? Like, I just think we need to come to those terms. I don't think we're gonna be general, genuinely happy with anything. So what I try to do is I try to practice a little empathy and I try to think, okay, why are they making this movie? Well, <laughs> the first obvious answer is a money grab, right? A money grab. Like, I, I think that they're marketing to people like myself, um, other people around my age who played Sonic and now have children. Because when I saw this, I'm like, oh, cool. My son and I play like newer video games like Fortnite and everything, but this movie is a way for me to introduce him to my childhood. So like, I think they, they look at that as a money grab. The same thing with these like Disney remakes. And they look at it like that. But the other thing that, that they're thinking is, is that they're going to make a movie that maybe is nostalgic for us, that we're going to enjoy, but because of the money grab, they're out of touch with it, right? But then like, we have to think to ourselves, like one of the reasons I say we talk about the problem but focus on the solution is because this happens in everyday life with everything. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make a video about this movie is because like, I don't think anybody, like anybody that I've seen really, has, has put out solutions. And that's one of the issues with just where we're at as you know human beings today. Like a lot of us just sit around and complain and everything like that, but we don't offer solutions, right? Like we don't say like, what would make it better? What would make this thing better? So in my opinion, when I look at this, I'm like, what would make this better? And the only thing I could really think of is like a full on CGI movie, like not live action. Like Into the Spider-Verse was this phenomenal movie that was completely 100% animated. But in most movies, when you kind of intertwine like CGI with live action, it gets a little silly, right? So I don't think any of us would have been happy, and you, could, you can let me know if I'm wrong, like let me know what your solutions would be down below. But what I'm getting at is they are completely wasting their time. And I think, I think it's gotta be difficult. Why, do, why am I saying I think? I know it's difficult for any, anybody in the public spotlight right now, whether it's movie studios or influencers or whatever it is, because the outrage is so loud and so in your face that like, this studio is redesigning this character before the movie comes out. Now, I am not in that industry, but I can only imagine how much time and how much money that's going to take, right? And looking at the grand scheme of things and the bigger picture on this, for the money that they're about to dump into this, to this redesign, do they think they're going to make that money back, right? I personally highly doubt it. Now, the second question that I wanna ask is, do they think that people are going to be happy? Because my assumption would be is that they're probably going to pull in a focus group, they're probably looking at all the ridiculous stuff online, and they're gonna try their best, but they cannot reshoot this entire movie, they can't change everything, because if we're gonna be honest, there was much more wrong with that trailer um, than just Sonic the Hedgehog's design. I don't think, I don't think people watch that trailer and they were like, everything in this trailer looks amazing, except Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, just the last thing I'll touch on is, I am a huge Jim Carrey fan, you know? It's huge, huge, huge. Grew up on Ace Ventura, Dumb and Dumber, all that stuff, and even just seeing Jim Carrey in this, I was excited to hear he was going to be um, playing Dr. Robotnik in this. Like, even his role doesn't look all that great. So what I'm getting at is, is it's just crazy how like companies and industries bend to the will of the mob and everything like that. And I see this as a waste of time and money because at the end of the day, especially as gaming geeks out there, 
we're never gonna be happy, you know? I think at the end of the day too, like most of us just, just want them to leave well enough alone. Just like, okay, that was great, you know, even though we like, you know, going back and playing those games, we don't like seeing remakes or having them put on the big screen and everything like that. But let me know your thoughts on this down below. Like, do you think there's a way that they could do this right? Do you think that a simple redesign of Sonic the Hedgehog would make this movie better, right? Let me know if you're gonna see it. Like, I'm probably gonna see it no matter what, whether I love it or hate it or whatever, because I'm always surprised. There's a lot of remakes that I've taken my son to go see. He absolutely loved them, even though I didn't really think they were that great. But at the end of the day, like, hey, some of those studios, that's really all they need. You know, two people go, half of them are really entertained, they win. All right, but anyways, let me know your thoughts on this topic down in the comments below. But that's all I got this for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to help support what I'm doing here on The Rewired Soul and get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.